A woman who lives alone with her old mother finally met a guy and they fell in love but the evil past of those two lovers haunted the woman and we're gonna see what happened to that woman in a Filipino horror movie Second Demano in our today's video. The movie had a pretty interesting story and a scary plot so make sure to stick around till end and subscribe my channel if you haven't cause this is the only place you get to see horror from around the world and with that said let's dive into the video. The story begins on a rainy night and we get to see a girl named Mariana with her boyfriend Owen but they were arguing over something. We soon finds out that Mariella is actually married and had a daughter as well. She had run away from her home but now she wanted to go back which was the cause of this argument but soon it turned into a fight. From here, the scene goes on another couple who were coming from the other side of the same road when suddenly a blooded Mariella came running toward them asking and screaming for help but when she closes up near the car, she ran right through it. That's right, it means Mariella is dead. Her spirit kept asking for help but obviously the couple was terrified to witness such horror and they drove away leaving her spirit crying alone. Now further in the movie, we meet Mariella's husband Ivan and their daughter Angel. Ivan knew very well that his wife had ran away but Angel was missing her mom and Ivan assured her that soon Mariella will return home. A few days passed by and Mariella didn't return and Angel kept asking questions about her mother which sometimes led Ivan to lose his temper but he immediately regrets screaming at her daughter. On the other hand, we see a woman named Mabel who runs an antique store with her friend Anna. They don't make much of her money but it was what it was. Mabel lives alone with her mother but her mother seems like she doesn't care about Mabel at all and the reason was actually her missing sister Mary who was lost since 20 years but what happened to Mary was a whole different story. That night, Mabel had a nightmare in which she woke up and witnessed water gushing out from under her sister's bed. Suddenly her sister's demonic figure scared her and Mabel woke up. She then visited a beach with her mother where the accident happened in the past. We get to know that 20 years ago on Mary's birthday, she got a doll in a prison but Mabel took that doll and ran away. Mabel and Mary were fighting for that doll on the beach when little Mary was swept by the water and into the ocean. Mabel couldn't save her and her sister disappeared. No one even found a body and that was why Mabel's mother still believes that her daughter might be alive. After beach, Mabel's mom and she goes to a psychic who tries to make contact with Mary's spirit but for some reason she couldn't. According to the psychic, Mary's spirit is trapped somewhere but this ignites hope in Mabel's mom even more as it could be that Mary is still alive and that's why there's no spirit of her. Well this sham soon began to bug Mabel and she took her mom out of that place but as they leave, wet footprints appear at their wake which scared the psychic and she locked her doors. Now at home, Mabel tries to make her mom understand the fact that Mary's gone and is never gonna come back but her mom wasn't ready to accept the truth. Her mother was living in a denial and this upsets Mabel even more. She was sad all day and at night when she was coming home, it was pouring outside. Mabel had an umbrella but it was no use and a car also splashed water on her. Though the car was Ivan's and he came out, offered Mabel his napkin and a ride home cause she was soaking wet. That night, Ivan dropped Mabel home and they felt some vibes between each other. The next day, Mabel was happy thinking about Ivan and she bossed and ironed his napkin and went to work where today came Ivan and they became friends. From here, the scene goes 30 months in the future on Mabel's birthday when now Ivan and Mabel were in a relationship and Ivan was throwing a huge party for Mabel. After party, today for the first time, Ivan takes Mabel his home and she met with Angel but seeing a woman other than her mother made Angel no happy. She acted out and did not accept Mabel's gift. Angel ran away and Ivan went after her and to some extent, Mabel was sad cause of all this. She then was walking alongside the pool when she suddenly felt some presence behind her and then came Angel who apologized for her behavior because her daddy made her to do so. Anyway, now during dinner, the housemates started talking about Mariella but that angered Ivan and he shouted at the housemate ordering them not to take Mariella's name in this house but after dinner, Mabel tried to make Ivan understand that Mariella is still Angel's mother and no one can take her place but Ivan wanted otherwise and so he proposed to Mabel that night. 
they still couldn't get married because technically Ivan was still married but there they kissed and Angel saw them and she began shouting at her father. After that Mabel had to leave but that night her driver was taking the car from the very road where Mariella died and on that road suddenly driver saw Mariella came running toward the car and she scared the hell out of the driver. There Mabel told the driver to stay focused but then he saw Mariella beside Mabel and in fear he drove the car away from that road as fast as he could. Anyway, that night Mabel finally tells her mother about Ivan but her mom was neither happy nor sad and she didn't want to talk about her at all. This upsets Mabel and the next day she told Anna all about her feelings and we can clearly see that Mabel blames herself for her sister's death and she thinks that is why her mother treats her that way. Anna calms Mabel down and after lunch Mabel goes to meet with Ivan. They were talking but then came a girl named Samantha who was Mariella's friend and knew Ivan from before when he was married. Samantha had came back from New York for a work trip and she was a bit gappy and Mabel didn't like her at all cause Samantha was making it clear that she likes Ivan even after knowing that the two were together. Moments later Mabel and Samantha were in the toilet and after Samantha was gone Mabel began imitating her weird tone though suddenly she heard a noise from a stall but upon checking no one was there and it was clear that a spirit is coming closer and closer to her with time. That day Mabel wanted to beat Samantha's New York style fashion so she went shopping with Anna and from a thrift store she bought a new red bag and a few clothes. After that they were on their way home when suddenly a spirit grabbed Mabel's new bag but then came Dindo who was a friend of Ivan's but as Dindo came out of nowhere a startling Mabel just ignored him though Dindo there saw Mariella for a brief moment behind Mabel. On the other hand, we see Ivan who was thinking about his past and we get to know that his mother had an affair with a guy and one day Ivan saw him together but his mother beat the hell out of Ivan and threatened him so he won't say a word to his father and it means Ivan had a very bad traumatic childhood. Anyway, soon came Samantha in his office and she began flirting with him. Ivan told her to stay away and that was then that Mabel came into the office as well and saw the two together. Mabel got mad but at home Ivan tried to make her understand that she didn't have to buy new things to beat Samantha cause she meant nothing to him while Mabel means everything to him. Mabel finally calms down but then came Angel and she snatched Mabel's new bag from her saying that the bag belongs to her mother and no one can take it. There Ivan shouted at her daughter and took the bag from her but for a moment Ivan too felt the presence of Mariella and then Angel suddenly fell ill. Angel was then taken to her room and Mabel talked about Mariella to one of the housemates and according to the housemaid it was very unlikely that Mariella would leave her daughter like that cause she loved Angel with her life and from here Mabel had a feeling that something bad had happened with Mariella. That night Mabel was wandering in Mariella's room and suddenly saw her apparition outside a window which scared her and she believed her intuition. Moments later when Ivan dropped Mabel at her home, Mabel told Ivan to look for Mariella cause she might be dead but Ivan acted out and said his wife had left him for good and she's not dead. He began shouting at Mabel but then came out Mabel's mom and seen her Ivan left. The next day Mabel told all about Mariella to Anna and how she thinks that Mariella's dead but Anna advised her to stay away from all these ghostly matters as much as she can. Soon Mabel goes in changing room to try on a dress but there her dress fell to the ground on its own and Mabel found another dress hanging on the wall. Mabel liked that dress more so she tried it on but then when she saw herself in the mirror her reflection changed into Mariella. Mabel was scared so she and her friend checked the CCTV footage of that store for Mabel's satisfaction but in that footage was caught Mariella's spirit following Mabel in the store. This shocked Mabel and Anna and she instantly threw that new bag of her in a trash can cause it was possible that the bag belonged to her and somehow made it to the thrift store. Not only that, upon a closer inspection of the footage, the friends could see that Mariella's spirit was wearing the same dress as Mabel's and seeing this, Mabel threw the dress as well. Now the scene goes on Ivan and Samantha again and she again was flirting with him. This time she even printed her lips on his cheek but then came Mabel and Anna who saw those two together. Once again Mabel got mad and she shouted at Ivan that your wife is dead go look for her instead of flirting with this whore. Mabel and Anna then stormed out of that room and they were on their way home when suddenly 
Ahana saw Mariella at the back seat of her car and she screamed and pulled over. Mariella scared Ahana to her death and then suddenly those cursed objects appeared in the back of her car as well and seeing this, Ahana screamed even louder. While on the other hand, Samantha was alone in the office when she suddenly saw Mariella coming toward her and in the next scene, Samantha was thrown out a window and she died after falling to the ground. Meanwhile, Anna threw that bat and that cold dress on the side of her road and she was almost hit by a car because of her frantic behavior and then came a call to Mabel. It was the housemaid who informed Mabel that Angel is in the hospital and her condition has worsened. Mabel instantly makes her way to the hospital and took care of Angel until Ivan came and this made Angel realize that Mabel actually cared for her and there finally Angel and Mabel became friends and she accepted her in her father's life. Now the scene goes on Mabel's mom and that night she heard Mary's voice in her house and she even saw Mary running in the foyer. Mabel's mom followed her daughter and goes outside the house but from there Mary disappeared but she had left Mariella's bag and dress at the doorstep. Mabel's mom picked those things up but then came Mabel who was shocked to see those things at her house. The next day, Mabel took those cursed objects to Ivan's and told him again to look for his wife and she assured him that Mariella is dead but Ivan said again and again and again that his wife had left him for good and she can't be dead. He began shouting at her and there he told Mabel about his tragic past and we get to know that Ivan actually told his father about his mom's affair and that night his father killed himself in front of Ivan and his mother. After knowing this, Mabel couldn't possibly ask Ivan to do anything about Mariella, so she just showed him some sympathy. But now, cause Ivan wasn't believing her, Mabel goes to that psychic with Anna. Now when the psychic turns those objects, she immediately found out that something bad had happened to Mariella and that she had died tragically. But to know what actually happened to her, the three held a seers, but before the seers could even begin. <laughs> Mariella showed herself at the table, scaring everyone to their deaths. The psychic said she could not help with such great energy as she made Mabel and Anna leave, telling Mabel that she should leave those cursed objects in a church and that maybe God would help her. Now that's exactly what Mabel did. The next day, she left the bat in a church but then came a homeless lady who took the bat with her. As soon as that lady brought that bat outside the church, it began dripping blood and then suddenly, a hand came out of it and scared the lady away. Anyway, that night, Mabel and Ivan were talking at her doorstep but for some reason, their words caused a photo of Mary to crack on its own but why, we'll find out later. Soon after Ivan left, Mabel's mom came to her and she had finally accepted the truth that her daughter had died all because she had seen her spirit but Mabel's mom now assured Mabel that she never blamed her for Mary's death and she even apologized for not being the best mom over the years. There Mabel and her mom finally resolved the tension between them and Mabel thought everything now is fine until next day when she was off to work with honor. Suddenly a crowd came in front of their car and then Mariella suddenly crossed that crowd. Mabel instantly got out of the car to see what's happening and there people had found Samantha's body. This scared Mabel and startled Anna and Anna said that now Mariella's spirit has started killing Ivan's love affairs so he must stay away from Ivan. After witnessing that horror, Mabel was sad all day thinking about what she should do next but then at a shop came Dindo who tried to calm Mabel down and even flirted with her but Mabel made him leave and there we knew that Dindo actually liked Mabel and Ivan knew all about Dindo's feeling. Anyway, when Dindo left, Mabel heard weird noises coming from the inside of an antique mirror. She opened the mirror and witnessed Mariella's horrifying spirit. Mabel screamed and closed the mirror again but then she saw Mary's reflection in the mirror and it was then that <coughs> the mirror broke and water gushed out of it flooding the entire place. The scene goes back to Dindo who were at his night shift when suddenly he heard strange noises. Dindo went to investigate but he slipped over some water and as he got on his feet, he saw Mariella coming toward him from the escalator and in the next scene, Dindo died after suddenly falling down the escalator. The scene goes to his funeral where came Mabel and Anna but they didn't stay much longer and now Anna made it very clear that the spirit of Mariella is on a hunt for the people close to Ivan. Mabel too felt the same and that the spirit might be outrageous cause Mabel is with Ivan. Mabel then discussed all this with her mom and in the end, she decided to break up with Ivan so everything can go about as it was but the decision was heartbreaking. 
Now the next day, Mabel went to Ivan's and told him the entire situation that your wife had killed two people and it would be best if they don't stay together anymore. Mabel tried to make Ivan understand the fact that Mariella is mad because they were together but then Ivan acted out and he wanted Mabel not to leave him even if it means that he must force her. But Mabel gave him his ring back and then came Angel who asked Mabel not to go but Mabel had to do what she felt was right and that's why she broke up with Ivan and left. The next day, she told everything to Anna but guys and girls and days in them. Today, Anna's car turned black and Mabel was scared because her car had turned into Mariella's car that she saw in a photo earlier. Out of fear, Mabel didn't let Anna drive that car and she took the keys and drove away but in the middle of her way, she lost control and the car automatically drove her to the road where Mariella died and there Mariella made Mabel saw a vision and now in that vision, we'll see what actually happened. Now we see Ivan in that car on that rainy night with Mariella beating the shit out of her. He smashed Mariella's head in the window and then he went out to kill Owen. Mariella tried to run away at first but then she came back to save Owen but she was too late. Ivan had killed Owen and then he killed Mariella as well. Ivan put Owen's body in the car's trunk and propped Mariella's body on the driving seat and then drove the car off a cliff and into a river. Seeing all this, Mabel knew Ivan is the actual villain and Mariella was just trying to warn her. She called Ivan but on the call, Mabel found out that her mother is actually at Ivan's place who came there to fetch her daughter. Now Mabel stayed calm on the phone as she drove as fast as she could to save her mother. Mabel soon reached Ivan's home and her car was glitching like a TV screen but there came Ivan. Though Mabel didn't talk much to Ivan and she ran inside the home to get her mother but now seeing Mariella's car, Ivan remembered how he killed Owen and Mariella. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Anna was checking up the CCTV footage and she found out that the one who killed Dindo was not Mariana but Ivan. That's right, Ivan is our actual killer and to tell this, Anna immediately called Mabel but instead of her, Ivan picked up her phone because Mabel had left her phone inside the car and Anna told everything to Ivan instead. It was then clear to Ivan that he's exposed and he must kill everyone who knows the truth. Now inside the house, Mabel told everything to her mom and they were trying to escape when suddenly Ivan came and he instantly began beating Mabel. In that fight, he pushed Mabel and her mom down the stairs and then beat them more in the kitchen. Though to save her mother, Mabel ran outside the house and Ivan followed her to the pool. There she hid from Ivan and by accident turned on a switch that began draining the water out of the pool. It was not long when Ivan found her and he began beating her again. He smashed her face down, kicked her and punched her and eventually knocked her out. Ivan then picked up unconscious Mabel and started taking her toward the pool and there with some flashbacks we get to see that it was Ivan who killed Samantha as well. And guys and girls and days in them, Mariella's spirit appeared in front of Samantha and Dindo because she came to warn them but she couldn't save him. Anyway, Ivan threw Mabel into the pool and she began to drown. While on the other hand, Mary's spirit came and consoled her mother but then Mary's spirit turned into Mariella's and it means Mariella is actually Mary who disappeared into the ocean 20 years ago and after that another family adopted Mary and she became Mariella and Mabel's mom was finally happy to see her daughter. Now before Mabel could die in the pool, Mariella's spirit came and brought her out of the water but then came Ivan to kill Mabel once and for all but instead Mariella? He too saw Mariella. Mariella scared Ivan and threw him in the pool and Mabel then smashed a rock on his head and ran away. It was then that Mariella grabbed Ivan inside the pool and made him rest over the drain where because of the pressure he died. After that, Mabel saved her mother and the next day, Mariella's car was also brought ashore. Mabel then knew that Mariella was her sister and Angel is related to her but now her sister's spirit was finally at peace. The scene from here goes 39 days later where Mabel and Angel were at lunch when suddenly Angel spilled juice on her dress. The waiter handed over a napkin to Mabel but it was Ivan's napkin that scared Mabel and in the end, Ivan's spirit came back and scared the hell out of Mabel. She screamed and the credits finally rolled. 
So this was the summary of the movie Sekinda Manu and I hope you all understood what I've told you and have liked my video. If you wanna watch this movie you gotta subscribe to my telegram and follow my other social media if you wanna get in touch with me. All the links are in the description box. If you like this video then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more horror content. Now I'll see you all in the next one till then stay awake cause they always see you.